Hey, it's Debbie from the Don Catchment Rivers Trust. Uh, just out today to do a quick video on one of the common tools we use for natural flood management, and that is the leaky dam. Uh, so hopefully you can just about make out behind me. Uh, this is a natural leaky dam, so I'm not straying too far still, so I've just popped down to my local river where there's quite a few of these uh, natural leaky dams that are formed in the river. They are a natural thing that happens anyway. And what we do when we put these in is try to emulate these. Um, so this is a fairly nice example. It spans the full width of the river. And uh, basically these work by, in times of uh, normal flows, so obviously we've not had much rain at the moment, so uh, river level's quite low. And in that situation, what you want is the water to just kind of pass the barrier unimpeded. So hopefully you can see it there, uh, kind of, flowing just underneath the log but then if we were to have some heavy rainfall and river levels start to rise uh, these leaky barriers in the river act as a bit of a break really so as that water kind of rushes down it will hit this which will slow the water down and cause the water to, to rise and back up behind it so it just kind of slows it down really and if you have several of these um, obviously it does the same thing each one sort of just slow it down and slow it down and when we're putting these in, uh, what we try and do, similar to, to this one behind us, is you have leave a gap underneath. So in normal flows, that water's just uh, travelling as it would do. And then they only kind of kick in really once uh, you have storm events and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and that just allows fish to, to pass through unimpeded as well. Um, and we secure them in place. And we tend to actually put them on uh, smaller rivers than this really. You tend to use kind of uh, more upstream tributaries but they can be done in uh, in wider rivers as well and uh, as well as just allowing that water to back up behind it you can also actually encourage it to spill out of the channel uh, so obviously you do this in places where it's low risk so uh, if you're in a woodland for example with no tracks or paths around uh, you'd be able to to put some in there and allow the water to spill out which again would just slow it down um, all the more because uh, it's harder for it to travel over kind of woodland uh, floor than it would be if it was in the channel, just rougher so it slows it down um, and you can create kind of storage pools just making um, shallows for that water to collect which again will just hold it back for a bit longer as it's slowly released um, and the more of those in the landscape as I said the more you kind of slow it down. So that's essentially how a leaky dam works um, but they also bring a number of other benefits so uh, they've been shown to um, help improve water quality, they can act as a bit of a filter for pollutants within the water. Uh, they're great in times of drought as well because they've just allowed more water to kind of uh, be kept within the landscape so there's the water available when it's drying up elsewhere. And uh, yeah, good for wildlife so it creates a variety of habitat both within the channel um, and uh, out on the, on the uh, where you've created those kind of more wetlandy areas where the water's spilled out as well and that's why we're seeing uh, more beaver trial uh, introductions uh, in England now. So beavers were native about, uh, up until about three or 400 years ago when they were hunted to extinction. And we've seen more trials now bring these back and just seeing what they do. And so far it's quite positive because obviously it's what beavers do. They, they put in these dams naturally to create their own habitat. And the benefits coming out of those are looking positive, as I said, for uh, biodiversity, for uh, flood risk and for, for drought and so um, we're expecting to see more of those trials and potentially um, beavers uh, reintroduced and uh, back in, in our landscape but until then uh, we will continue to put them in ourselves doing the job of the beavers and uh, if that's something you would fancy doing then uh, do get in touch and you can join us once we can get back out and put these in um, or if you have land that you think might be suited to leaky dams then also give us a shout that would be great and yeah that's it so thanks bye